Okay, first of all go to ETAB. Then click on new model. Now change unit, fill unit and ETAB. Or you can directly change unit from here. CIP inches. So change this kilo newton meter. Hmm. Now, first step, I have said that you need to define. First of all, define material property. Add new material, say M thirty. Now, you can see this design property data. By default, now we know that this is US software. Main client are from US. So by default, it always take the ACI. You can change this by going in option, preferences, concrete frame design. Here change by IS four five six. IS four five six. Okay. So define material property. Add new material. M twenty M thirty. So according to that, we need to change this. So if it is M twenty, this will be F C K will be twenty thousand. Hmm? This will be four one five. If H Y L C is using, uh, you are using H Y L C, then change this shear enforcement. Hmm? Then unit weight per it. Volume we consider PCC for 24, and if RCC is there, it is 25. Hmm? So change the all the properties accordingly. Click on OK. So this is material is defined. Delete all other mater material. Click on M20. So this will be your default material hmm? for every structure. Then click on Define. Assign frame. These are the default sizes given by ETAB. Delete, delete all these properties. Then click on Add Rectangle. Hmm? Say give title as Beam two thirty by say four sixty. Material will be M twenty. Depth zero point four five zero. Width zero point two three zero. Check out the reinforcement design type will be beam. Okay. Now, click on OK. Next, we need to define columns. Again, click on Add Rectangle. Column. Say five hundred by five hundred. Click on M twenty. Depth will be zero point five. Width will be zero point five. Reinforcement column design terms will be column. Okay. Now next define a slab. There is this plank wall. Click on add new slab. Section say S one two zero. Change material by M twenty. Now this thickness. Is in meter, one meter. Okay, change this by zero point one two zero. Change this bending by zero point one two zero. And type you can choose shale, member, membrane, sorry, or plate. Click on membrane. Click on OK. Did this. Okay. Now, this is the selection arrow. Drop down this to the first level. Or second option is you can set the plan view. Click on story one. Okay. Hmm? Now we need to draw beams and columns. So these are the this left side is drawing cursor. Only drawing cursor. You need to draw shear wall. You need to draw masonry wall, infill panels. Hmm? So from here you can draw. So click on this cre create line. Select all these lines. Hmm? All the first floor, sorry, cleans level beams are created. Then click on this create column. 
change this property by columns 500 by 500 these are all columns hmm. then next is click on this create areas hmm. this area is our membrane area by clicking on the center you will create a slab hmm. to view the slab click on view then set building view option click on object fill click on apply to all windows ok hmm. now uh, this is the first level first level of your uh, structure then we need to copy paste on upper level so click on control A all beam columns and slabs are selected then click on edit click on replicate click on store it so we need to replicate this to story number 2, 3, 4 so click 2, 3, 4 hmm. these are the options what pattern we need to translate up on upper side click on ok hmm. this is the only geometry is done material is defined hmm. next we need to define load ok so click on define click on static load cases by default two values are there uh, two loads are there sorry dead load and live load in addition of that you can assign earthquake load click on uh, type as eqs earthquake along x direction type will be quaked hmm? auto lateral load say is 1893 2000 hmm? click on add new load modify lateral load here you can add the eccentricity torsional irregularity effect by giving the eccentricity values hmm? so directions is along x direction here you can change the zone factor zone values or you can use your values also user defined values this option is not provided in stat pro you need to tick compulsory with is code only hmm? okay so response reduction factor is 5 this you can change to any other value mostly 3 or 5 these two uh, values are available in the is code click on ok ok so what i have said that we need to define then we need to assign this we have defined now again we need to assign so control a click on control a all the slabs beam columns are uh, selected we need to assign a live load dead load it will calculate automatically by the formula density into cross section hmm? density into volume is the basic formula per meter we are saying so click on shale slash area load click on uniform the load case will be live load uniform load 3 replace existing load ok hmm? here you can see the load is applied hmm? then next part is to define the hinges hmm? so click on define go to <coughs> frame non-linear hinge property hmm? here as i have said four default hinges are there m3 p p stands for axial force m3 stands for the bending moment so uh, select default m3 ok then again after define we need to assign go to assign hmm? then go to frame slash line ok here go to frame nonlinear hinges hmm? in that we need to define the relative distance so that at what distance hinges are formed so it will be say 10% of length 0 0.1 hmm? relative distance so click on add ok so after adding click on ok hmm? for proper view we can change the view click on elevation ok here you can see this dot is nothing but the hinges that, that we have assigned hmm? now next part is to define the pushover cases hmm? pushover analysis so that will be static 
non leader slash pushover cases hmm? add new case so as i have said there will be two types of pushover force controlled and displacement controlled okay so assign the it has suggest to give the push to displacement magnitude now this value is in accordance with schema 273 this these are not all illogical values these are defined by certain codes certain fundamentals so these values is provided by etas we are going to follow this then load pattern in load pattern we will add a dead load hmm? okay click on okay then our model is ready so set analysis option <coughs> include feed and type effect force deflection effect okay then First of all, we need to send our file push to save. Hmm? So this is purely linear analysis. Hmm? Here we can get the deformed shape. This is primary dead load. Then for li lie load, deformation is like this. Then display. So deformed shape. For EQX, the displacement along this direction. Hmm? Now, next step is, ha, uh, huh, show story response plot. This is the story response plot. Uh, on x-axis there is displacement, and this is the story level. Hmm? Now, we need to run. static non linear analysis hmm? so click on static non linear analysis these are the calculations we can see okay analysis complete click on display show static push over cases okay so these are the <coughs> base reaction on y axis there is base reaction on x axis there is displacement displacement is input given by us hmm? and in addition of that it will give the base reaction means response of the structure that's it so uh, you can import this uh, files in the excel sheet also by saying uh, go to display show table here you can get the excel excel sheet for, uh, format okay 